let's talk about displays on these EKEs. So there is none included. And um, that's generally for a purpose because a lot of times if you want a display, you want to make it remote anyway. You can put it on the outside of a cabinet or something like that. But most of the time, there's no one looking at it. So you really don't need to necessarily pay for a display, but you're probably going to need one for setup. Right. So yeah, there is none included with these. And the uh, easiest option is to get what we call the MMI GRS2 display. It's a, it's a good size display and you can get a lot of information on it. And um, it's the most common display. And then you can connect it with just a six inductor phone cable. Um, if you crimp the cable the same way on both ends, you're you're ready to go there. And um, and occasionally there are times when you're doing this display setup that you might plug it in and uh, it doesn't work, but we'll talk about what to do with that. With the MMI GRS2, it, when you first plug it in, it has to read a file from the controller. And it takes a few seconds at first, and it'll tell you what's going on but it'll um, read that file from the controller and then it's ready to go. And then if you have to unplug it, plug it back in, it's already got the file and it'll come up much quicker. Yeah. If it doesn't connect, then um, that I think that frustrates some people because they're not sure where our problem is. And then you just um, go into the bio setup of the display by holding down the X button and the enter button for about five seconds and then it'll get you into another menu. And when you're in that menu, there's uh, several options. But from what I found, the things to remember are you want to set it for a remote application, uh, set it for the, the CAN communication option for CAN bus, and set it for auto detect. 